This is a homemade spinner. And the most difficult part about making this is to get it to go straight. You get it so when you turn it, it looks straight, you know? And that's really hard because it looks terrible when it looks wobbly. And the way I can adjust it is that inside the spinner is actually foam and it's flexible. And you can sort of push it round and stuff, you know? To push the whole spinner around, you know, like once it's on there. And the only way to put it on the propeller is to glue it. There's no other way. But because it's polystyrene and you use just a little bit of PVA glue, you can easily get it off if you want to get it off. So, how did I make a spinner like that? And this is like a little one. Uh, uh, with a home hack. How did I make that homemade? With Easter egg moulds. And later I'll show you how to cut them and everything. And you have to cut them with scissors and you need these sort of scissors to cut the, this part too, the indentation, which you can't see. Which you'll see later though, because we've got better photos of it. You can't see it there, it doesn't matter. And we need a marker to mark it. So we can cut before we cut it and also to mark the polystyrene because the inside's polystyrene. We need glue. PVA glue is the only glue. And we need a, a hacksaw blade to cut it out or whatever you want to cut the foam out with. You need the foam too, of course, which is there and a file to file it down. Now, let's have a look how to make it. Just a bit of a tutorial here. Now the propeller, just in the middle of the propeller where it's going to be glued, it has to be sort of roughened with that rough file I just showed you and so it can stick on, so you can stick the, the spinner on onto the thing, you know, on, on, onto the propeller I mean. Now that's the first step. There's the Easter egg moulds. Just showing you how I've made the cutout on there. To fit the blade, you see, you got about that's a two-blade propeller. A three-blade would be a bit more difficult because you got three of them at 60 degrees. But here, you got two two cutouts exactly opposite each other, so it's going to be a lot easier. You have to cut it out with those scissors that showed you, of course, and that's just to show you how I mark it. And the waist is sort of marked before you cut it out, the size you want it, sort of thing, you know. Is that little green one's cut off right on the top, sort of thing. Four. There's the finished spinner, and there's a good, really good picture of the cutout there. Here's an idea what to do. It cuts pretty easy with those scissors. The curved ones really help with that sort of thing. Now to mark your polystyrene. I just pushed the spinner onto the polystyrene to make an impression and then just go around it with the marker then I just cut it out with a hacksaw blade then and then fold it down to that big file till it gets that shape, the same shape as the spinner and you make it so it's just a little bit too big and then you can just Press it in, push it in, you know. Press the foam in to just adjust the size. Just instead of having to file it because it's a bit rough on it and you go too far, but with pressing it, it's a lot easier. And then it fits right in like that, you see. You can even see the cutaway there and the foam behind it, which has to be dealt with, of course. So there we got marked it 
you mark it with the foam bit where the blades go and the centre. Then you cut it out. Now it's cut out with access for the blades there. Plus in here for a rubber band powered plane, it's most important to have a cavity there, like enough room, plenty of room for your cam to work. Because remember, the propeller's glued, I mean the spinner is glued to the propeller, you know. And so you have to take it off if the propeller doesn't work properly, if it doesn't freewheel, you have to take the whole thing off, won't you? Now, no, number 10, that's a completed spinner. 11, what it looks like on the propeller. Now, that's about it, I suppose. But, um, as I said, keeping it straight, if there's anything I missed that might be in the description. Um, yeah, sticking the polystyrene, where's number nine, is it? No. Yeah, before that, number eight. You see, you stick the polystyrene to the spinner. You see, with glue, with PVA, I did. But it's important to rough the inside out of the spinner. Otherwise, you might, uh, you, if you fly off in the middle of flight, you have <laughs> the spinner cover coming off. So <laughs> but... You can do it with double-sided tape, I suppose, thin double-sided tape, you know, the real thin stuff. And you wouldn't need to rough it, rough the spinner out inside. It's a bit of a hard job, really. You can, it's pretty easy, but it's just because of the cavity shape of it makes it a bit, a bit hard, that's all. And um, so we have, in the end, when we finished, we got that, what it looks like, and it sticks to this, you see, so that and that comes together to make your propeller to finish it and you stick it on after you've mounted the propeller onto the plane, if it's a rubber band powered plane, of course, you know, you've got to mount your propeller on the propeller mount with a bit of wire bent around it. On, an ang on a right angle, a little piece there. Make sure that little piece, when I'll show you number, what, this one is it? No, number nine. That little wire piece, which works on your cam, doesn't overlap too much and touch here, because otherwise it won't freewheel. You've got to watch that before you stick it on, you know? Otherwise you're gonna have to rip it off again and stick it on, back on again. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube.